Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a Pareto chart. Now a Pareto chart is basically a combination chart. It's got a bar graph or a column chart uh, in Excel's uh, nomenclature. It's got a column chart and a line chart in one. So the Pareto chart was named after a Italian economist named Wilfredo Pareto. And as it says here from the uh, Wikipedia article, uh, this is where individual values are represented in descending order by the bars. You can see it's going in descending order. There's a tail at the end and all the higher amounts are in the front here to the left. And a cumulative total is represented by the line chart. So it accumulates, so it adds up and eventually gets 1% as it goes to the end here. Now the Pareto chart is linked to the Pareto principle, which was uh, named after Vivredo Pareto. And it's also linked to the concept of the 80-20 rule, where 20% uh, 20, 20 of an input accounts for 80% of an output of something. And the thing that's used often is 20% uh, of the population have 80% of the wealth in the world, something like that. So you'll probably see this Pareto principle and the 80-20 rule, and it manifests itself into this chart called the Pareto chart. With a Pareto chart, like any other chart, there's different ways that data can be charted. So we have data that could be numerical, and we have data that could be categor categorical. So numerical data is quantitative, and categorical is qualitative. So an example of numerical data is the number of family members or temperature. You can see here that we have discrete numbers and continuous numbers. And for the categorical data, uh, they're, they're expressed in the category. Uh, for example, a male or female, or a, then, and a rating of excellent, good, average, or poor. I'll show you two examples of how we can put these into a Pareto chart. So let's go first into the numerical example. This is a very small table, and it charts out uh, revenues for an item. Previously in Excel, uh, Excel's, Excel 2013 or below, you, if you wanted to create a Pareto chart, you'd have to sort this data by revenue from end descending value. So the most revenue at be fir would be first, and then it would decline. It would descend to the last item, which would be the low lowest revenue. Then you'd also have to um, total that up and create another column here that looks at the percentages. But Excel 2016, you don't have to do that. There is a Pareto chart that is in this version now and it's you don't even have to sort it you don't even have to create any additional columns it's just there if you don't have Excel 2016 and you still wanted to create a Pareto chart I will put a link to a description of how to create one in previous versions of, of Excel and there's another video that I have that shows you how to do that but since we have 2016 here all we need to do is click anywhere within our data go to insert and go to our charts group and right here in the histogram chart we have our Pareto. If I click on that it just magically puts it there. And you can see how nicely it does it because what it's doing is it's already sorted the data. You can see it's not sorted here. We have item 2 which is a little over 7,000. We see that that's the first one and it's already sorted it out and it's already made a cumulative amount for our line chart. And all we need to do now is just add a title or do some changes. If I wanted to change my chart, chart style, I can make that a chart style. And we have our Pareto chart. So you can see how Excel 2016 has made it really easy to create a Pareto chart. But what if we had categorical data? What if we had data just like this in one column? And we wanted to create a Pareto chart out of that and see where the most of our uh, problems came from. So this is an example of maybe a survey and we have descriptions of why uh, maybe uh, a restaurant was doing bad. What we need to do is play with it a little bit and create a pivot table out of this and then use that to uh, source our chart. So I've got my range of data here. I'm going to create a pivot table out of this. It's probably the easiest way to do it. Go to insert and then go to pivot table and it's already selected the range. You can see A1 to A45. It goes all the way down to A45. I'm going to put it into this worksheet and won't want to go too far. I'm just going to put it here, click OK, and I'll put the description here in my rows and then a count of the descriptions. So once I put it into the values uh, section here, it's just going to count the amount of times that each one of these show up. Also, I like to have 
my pivot tables in tabular format. So you can see that if, if it's not in tabular format, it just has these generic row labels and counter description. If I put it in tabular format, it will bring over the description field here. So just something that I like to do. From here, we can't really create a Pareto off this. So because if I go in here and I go to insert and I try to insert a Pareto, it doesn't do it. What happens is I need to copy and paste this into a range. I don't need to copy the grand total. I just go do a control C to copy that and then just control V and paste as values or I just go back to home and click on paste and just paste values. I would just have the values. I don't want any of the formatting or the, any of the pivot table information. Select these two columns, double click to auto fit. So this is all I need to create the Pareto. I'm in my range of data here, go to insert, go to the histogram, select on the Pareto, and there we go. Move this over here, and we have our Pareto chart. And if I like that black uh, style, I can go ahead and click on that with the black background, and we have our food quality shows up first. You notice this also is not in any particular order, but food quality shows up first because it's the highest amount, and of course it goes in descending uh, values. And we've got our cumulative line here, and we see probably about two of the items account for 80% of uh, the complaints here for the restaurant, uh, food quality and slow servers. So that's our other way to create a Pareto. And this is using categorical data. As we mentioned before, categorical, categorical data is something that uh, doesn't have any numerical values. It's qualitative data. And on this example, we have numerical values. These are revenues. These show up as numbers. So these are two ways that um, we can chart a Pareto here with numerical data and here with categorical data. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.